Okay, we're going to uh, look at the uh, manage soft uh, manage uh, tab of the Revit software. Uh, just for this exercise, I might just draw in a wall, just so we can see what we're doing. Uh, and that seems to be a big effort for this software again. Finally, here we go. Here's a wall, and let's go with that one there, and. It's having problems uh, drawing line by line. Okay, and just modify to finish that. Let me just change this to fine. And zoom in. All right, we may use this uh, as a bit of an ex a bit of an example. All right, so let's uh, go to manage. All right, this is the manage tab. And here, you, as you can see, well, the first one is uh, materials. So this is where you be able to import materials into it for um, rendering and all that sort of stuff. It's invariably slow. And um, I have to keep pausing the program. All right, so basically this is where you choose your materials and in import them and all that sort of stuff. We're not going to really go into this and because it looks like it's having issues anyway <laughs> still updating all right but we will um and we have probably looked at this uh, before when we came in to select um probably a roof or some other material like that you can go into the category and and change it to be something else um you know you can type in for example timber and that will come up in here and you can choose a timber finish or something like that we we'll just okay that for now uh, the other thing here is object styles. So just click that for a minute, see what comes up. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, this one here is um, okay. This is this this is where with the manage tab, a lot of um, the yeah, a lot of the setup collaboration style of stuff is done through here, where you. And not just this particular command, but a few of the others, others as well. Where you know, at the beginning of this of the project, you make sure you set up all your templates so everything is right. And and, and in fact, the beginning of even setting up your own office, you might you know come in here and set a few things up. Now you might you might note that you know everything, just about everything, is drawn in black and white, as opposed to AutoCAD where we have lots of different colors. You know. And um, I can see a bit of color there, but I mean, let's have a look at the wall. If I go to the wall, it says, okay, the projection and the cut, all right, all right. So the cut will be, that was like we're looking at it now through the plan view. Uh, if it was a wall on an elevation, it might be a pen one. So this is the, these numbers refer to the pen thickness, all right, and we'll come across that a bit later on. Now, A4 doesn't mean anything, it's just the number 4, you know, so it's got pens 1 to 16, I think, and they all can be different pen thickness, depending on your um, current scale, I don't this 100 here, it could be, 1 could be, say, 0.18, and this could be 0.35, right. but for 1 is to 10, it could be a different number, right? But Anyhow, we'll get to that in a minute, it's a bit confusing. But here, I could say, well, I want it to be magenta. All right, so I want my line color to be magenta. And I could make it so it's even dotted. So we can have um, one of those. We go OK. And so there you go. So you've got that happening. All right. So you can control it that way if you so wish. Uh, just drop back in here again. Wall. Not suggesting you should do that. But <laughs> um, all right. So that's basically uh, the the. Um, here should be uh, looking for something else. I seem to find that. All right. So you can see here. Uh, what else have we got? So that's the way you can do it with any any. Um, 
object, all right? And the same thing with the annotations. You know, the annotation, that's the model, model objects. These are the annotation objects. So you could have an elevation marker or something like that. And you can change its color if you so wish. So you can, I suppose, get color drawings out that way if you, if you want to. All right? Even got a pen time. Mm. All right, so let's uh, OK that. And I'll just cancel that. All right, so next along we have these snaps. These are very important as well. Uh, generally, they're all on, as you can see. Unlike AutoCAD, where, where you only get a few of them on. But this is where you can control them. Um, you want to know, sometimes you want to turn them all off. Uh, what is it? There's a turn override off, uh, it looks like SS, so you can type in command SS and we'll turn them off for a minute. And what else is there? Oh, you can tap, toggle through, shift will force vertical and horizontal, but what's important to note is these, these things here. Now, SQ is not for points, SQ is for quadrants. Right? So you can actually uh, force one to become active by just typing in what it is, um, SE for endpoint. All right, so there it is there. So if you forget what they are, you can come in here and, and have a look. Sorry, SO turns them off. That's what it is, sorry. SO turns them right off. But this, this would toggle them, I think. They're just they're not I don't use that, but there you go. It's just there. Okay, so another one is perpendicular that I sometimes use, SP. All right. So all good. SX for points, so we can latch onto points, SX. Okay, that. So that's where they live. Mm, project information. So interesting. So if I type in organization name, let's say uh, TAFE, uh, description, uh, regency, uh, building name, say H.07, where we are, uh, author Andreas. Okay, let's do that. Issue date, what's today? Let's uh, say it's the 18th of the uh, 9th, 2013. All right, uh, project status, I don't know, what's project status, current, <laughs> whatever. Uh, client name, uh, it'll be whatever it might be, for uh, hospital, whatever it might be. And address, okay, one, two, three. Street Road, uh, Road. Um, somewhere, right? Yeah, SA uh, 500, alright, so okay, that. And uh, project name, I thought we did that already, didn't we? Or whatever it might be. My client, project number, we'll put in A012345. There you go, okay, that. All right, so let's put some, we'll put some project information. This will be a shared information. Um, and if we go to, for example, down here, and let's see what happens when we go in here. All right, that date came through, that project number came through, that can come through. Um, my client, hospital, all right, up here. Project address. Right, so that came up, and this will go on every sheet. So it's a bit like even Word has, you know, like project information. So that's how it's used in here. And this is just particularly relating to this sheet here. So we just, you know, put it in here, and a lot of this other stuff as well that'll be relating to this here. So you just put it in there. All right. So that's uh, that. Let's go back to manage. Uh, go back to here. Manage, manage, all right, project information, project parameters. These, these are uh, not going to bother with. Um, getting more to the programming. And so is this. This is more of a, um, when you're creating families and that sort of stuff, you, you go in here. We hope we might, we might get to this. See how we go towards the end of the next term. All right, so uh, project units is actually important. We talked about it briefly on Monday. So. Uh, this is where you can change it, say if it was in Imperial to, to um, Metric, and this is where it all happens. 
and you can set the accuracy and all that sort of stuff so just the points and yeah so this is all, all there that's pretty straightforward really um, yeah so I'll we'll take that one what else is there transfer project standards oh there's another project open <laughs> okay so um, if I I'm just open something up um, let's see if that one comes up this is just a one-time upgrade so there's no need to panic 